Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm all, as always. I'm your host, Dungeon Master Two Hundred One, bringing you another episode of Dragon Age: The Origins One. So, in the last episode, we managed to get to the refugee camp. We did a few uh, minor quests for the uh, little camp, and now I've found the person this locket belongs to. So let's go ahead and talk to him. Your friend, Sir Ian, is dead. I have something of his. What? And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never. So have this guy's in the chantry. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. I should go. Henrik gone. I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, good sir. You have been most helpful. Alright, so you talk to that guy beforehand. He'll give you a bunch of good information. Let's talk to you. Oh yeah, I think I remember you. There's no such thing as a god, I'm sorry. The maker's plan is too grand for me to fathom, especially at times like this. Let's see, uh, who's in charge here? Uh-huh. Hmm. What are these, uh... The Chant of Light. Surely you know it. Two never heard it sung like this before. Only done straight through at the Grand Cathedral in Val Royale. Here we can only sing a few verses per week and finish anew each first day. Hmm. Tell me more about this when the chant. The was burned by the Magisters. The Maker turned away from his creations. We gain his forgiveness by spreading Andraste's teachings. The Maker will return when the chant is sung from the four corners of the world. Uh huh. And uh, how do you know this? This world. I believe in evolution. Of his existence. Every child born shows he loves us still. So I should go. You're crazy. Let's see, refugee. Damn. Let's, uh, not go there just yet. I don't wish of anything of you right now. God damn it! I keep hitting that damn... I was trying to get that. Okay. Anything else around here? Now, if I remember correctly, you gotta do everything you can in here. Uh, God damn it! There's so many chests I don't have the ability to get. Alright, let's come over here. Will you be making a donation to the Chantry, my friend? Uh, no. I have nothing to offer. I understand. Not all are wealthy enough to spare even a few coins for the maker's favor. What can I do for you then? Let's see. Um, I want to talk to you about Stern, the Quarney you imprisoned. It might have been kinder to execute him, but I leave his fate to the maker. Why does he interest you? Let's see. Um. I want him freed. I might have a use for him. Then his next victims might count you and me as their murderers. That is, I've come to return him to his 
people. That seems highly unlikely. Well, I you guess that failed. Papers to corroborate your story. Let's see. I am a Grey Warden, and I'm in a I'm in need of aid of the Dark Spawn. Oh dear, I will have to ask you to leave before you bring trouble on our heads. Let me take the Quarney and fight the Dark Spawn. To defend against the Blight, perhaps that is a form of atonement. But are you certain you can control him? Let's see. If you prefer, I could invoke no. If not, I no, I cannot. There will be too much trouble for us if we are seen cooperating with you. Ah. <sighs> but the dark spawn are the real enemy the here. Maker cares no less for that Canary's victims than for the thousands who fell in Ostagar. Now, good day. Yes. What can I do for you now? Let's see. Again. Yes. We have already discussed this, and I told you I would not release the creature. I hate to do this. Now we threaten priests. How fun! Whoa, whoa! Let's not get out of hand here. What is the meaning of this? You would threaten me with violence. Your reverence, please. We are on an important mission. Let us take the Kunari off your hands. I beg you. I see. And if not, I am to be assaulted. Is this what we have come to? No, your reverence. I will not allow that to happen. I have more important matters to concern me. Here, take the key to the creature's cage and be gone. Very well. Thank you. Could have just uh, saved us a lot of trouble. I'm glad Morgan approved. Only the word is spelled. All right, let's go get the corny out. Go. I was looking. What do you need? Damn it! What do you need? I'm not trying to talk to you. You wish something more of me. Let's see. I have the key to open your cage. I confess, I did not think the priestess would part with it. She agreed to release you into my custody. One would think she would send a document or an agent of her chantry, but perhaps not all humans act in such a fashion. So be it. Set me free and I will follow you against the Blight. Very well, I will let you out. And so it is done. I will follow you into battle. In doing so, I shall find my atonement. I uh, guess that will do. May we proceed? I am eager to be elsewhere. <laughs> All right, let's uh, make sure there's nothing else we can do in this place before we uh, head on out. We just got Let's go ahead and make uh, yeah that our main quest and And um how do I All right Inventory advanced spells 
healing, poisons and traps. No, I don't want the change party. No, spells. Maybe it would be here. No, it wouldn't. Herbalism, there we go. All right. What exactly was I supposed to do with that? Where was that person? Have any luck finding herbs in the woods? Yes, I did. This will help many people. You're a good sort, you know. Does that complete the quest so I can mark it off my thing? like to have good 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 all we have is downloadable content and then the blight hmm so we could either go through the broken circle nature of the beast now let's uh, make our way uh, out of here first <sighs> Looks like there's some items over there. Let's go pick them up before we leave. Good. All right, now let's uh, make our way up here and let's continue on the road. Looks like they cleaned up pretty nicely. Let's see, is there anything in here? Nothing. And let's go! Onward! Whoa! Oh, nice dragon. <laughs> oh, I'm at camp. Let's see, must have uh, been something I ate. <laughs> Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. Is that the dragon? Really a dragon, but it sure looks like one. Ah, oh, great, we gotta fight dragons. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow... When I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. Great. It was scary at first for me too. Um, yeah, I'm not frightened. I screamed like a little girl. Duncan said he thought I had someone in my room. <laughs> not embarrassing at all. Anyhow, you're up now, right? 
Let's pull up camp and get a move on. Great. We're at camp. Let's uh, talk to this person. You're a hard man to find. Where are my manners? The name is Levy. Levy Drive. Uh huh. No. 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 Let's see. I've never heard of you. No. Why are you here? something important for the wardens and for me but poor Duncan's well no more a tragedy it is at that but I know he would want his work carried on his pledge fulfilled my family well pass a bit checkered to see nobles look at us with disdain my great-great-grandmother, Sophia Dryden, was the last warden commander of Ferelden back when the wardens were known as freeloaders. So King Olin banished the wardens, and he took House Dryden's land and titles. Uh-huh, what happened next? After King Olin died, there was a civil war, loads worse than this one. And our family was on the run, hunted by enemies, with nary a friend in the world. But Dryden's are tough. We rebuilt, became merchants, and we never lost our pride. Uh-huh. I'm surprised uh, you kept your name. Our family's only crime was guarding the kingdom against the blight. We're not ashamed of that. Uh, okay, just tell me what I need to know. Duncan wanted to reclaim the old Grey Warden base, Soldier's Peak. And perhaps we'll uncover evidence to restore my family's honor along the way. Nobody's been to Soldier's Peak since the Grey Wardens were banished, but I found a way. They say it's haunted, and it's certainly dangerous. Will you help me? Let's see, um... Why didn't Duncan help you? Darkspawn surfaced in Southern Ferelden, and Duncan got plenty busy recruiting new Wardens and meeting with good King Caelan. Duncan said he would help after the Battle of Ostagar. Said there might be useful things at the peak. But he never had the chance. Alright. We're gonna have to come back to this. I'm, I'm gonna admit, uh, try to make Soldier's Peak a uh, episode on its own. Let's see. How will reclaiming the peak help the Wardens? Soldier's Peak is strategic and symbolic importance. Duncan said that it would be worth it right there. Also hope to recover lost warden history and perhaps a few old relics. No one knows what's up there now. Hmm. I'll have to think about it. So yeah, we have that. We can uh, go and uh, head up to the downloadable content area of Warden's Peak. Oh great. I saw your camp and thought to myself. What safer place to rest for the evening than in the camp of a grey wall? I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Sounds good. Let me see your wares, Baden. Please, with the goods my boy and I have collected. All right. Let's uh, talk to some of the others around here. All right. All right, Morgan. What do you wish me? Let's see, um... I'd like to discuss something with you. Um... Never mind. What do you wish of me? Uh, let's see, I'd like to ask you something. Um... Uh, how did you become a, uh, shape changer? I was not born such. It is a skill of Flemeth's, taught over many years in the wilds. The chastened have tales of we witches, saying that we assume the forms of creatures to watch them from hiding. When a child is alone and separate from his tribe, that is when we strike, dragging the young boy kicking and screaming to our lair to be devoured. A most amusing legend. But it's just a legend, right? 
So I assume my mother has walked the wilds far longer than I. Who am I to suggest what things she has done and not done in her past? Why do you ask? Is there something specific you wish to know? Let's see. Um can anyone become a shape changer? Anyone with sufficient will. But the act of transformation is a magical one. Tis a spell and thus requires a mage's talents. Indeed, you could learn the spells required if I cared to teach you. Let's see. Um Do you spend a lot of time as an animal? There were nights when the wilds called to me. Tis true. You look upon the world around you and you think you know it well. I have smelled it as a wolf, listened as a cat, prowled shadows that you never dreamed existed. But my life is as a human. I am under no illusions to the contrary. They do not shy away from me. To their senses, I believe I seem like any other of their species. As to what they think, I truly cannot say. Just as I am still human, no matter my form, they are still animals. Thus they cannot speak, even were I to ask. That's all I wanted to ask. Indeed. Have you an opinion on my abilities, then? Am I an unnatural abomination? No. <laughs> you just be put to a flagpole and tickled. I think your abilities sound quite useful. Oh, you are simply full of surprises, little man, aren't you? But enough of such talk. Let us proceed, lest the dust gather on us. All right, we got some one point of approval. Alright, let's uh, talk to some of the other uh, characters, get to know them a bit. There is the Canari, and let's uh... Why are we stopping? Let's see, um... I think we should talk for a moment, since we're in camp. There are dark spawn to be fought, is this delay needful? You were in that cage for weeks. Enough to fight. You said you were in the army? I am. Let's see. Um. Yeah. Tom are the eyes, hands, and mouth of the Kunari. We are how my people know the world. Okay. And, um. I've never seen a Kunari before. Tell me about your people. No. No, why not? People are not simple. They cannot be summarized for easy reference in the manner of the elves are a lithe, pointy-eared people who excel at poverty. A little hostile, aren't we? Many humans have said that to me. I do not understand it. If I were indeed hostile, you would be bleeding. So this is you being calm and helpful. You know what? Just follow orders and you'll be fine. As you wish. I bet that went down. Oh, he approved. Alright, where is Jackass? What do you need? I'd like to ta ask you something. Ask um, what can a Templar do exactly? Essentially, they're trained to fight. But Chantry would tell you that the Templars exist simply to defend. But don't let them fool you. They're an army. The other main purpose for a Templar is, of course, to hunt mages. To that end, we train in talents that drain mana and disrupt the spells. Uh, that can't be good. So they use magic themselves. Could call it that, sure. The Chantry doesn't look on it the same way, however, since really our talents only work on mages. Against a regular person, I'm just a guy in a metal suit. Let's see, so could others learn these talents? Perhaps, but there usually isn't much of an opportunity. The Chantry keeps a close rein on its Templars. 
We are given lyrium to help develop our magical talents, you see. Which means we become addicted. And since the Chantry controls the lyrium trade with the dwarves, well, I'm sure you can put two and two together. So you are addicted to this lyrium. Actually, no. You only start receiving lyrium once you've taken your vows. You don't need lyrium in order to learn the Templar talents. Lyrium just makes Templar's talents more effective. Or so I was told. Maybe it doesn't even do that. The Chantry usually doesn't let their Templars get away, either, so they can spread their secrets. I'm a bit of an exception. Lucky me. Alright, he approved. Alright, let's talk to our uh, guard dog. Did you just, uh, did you just jump at the side of your own shadow again? Oh, you're so funny. Such rapier wit. Your furry friend here took offense at me getting near his food. He snapped at me. Look. There's hardly any blood, John. You should be, uh, let's see, uh... It was just a warning. He could have taken your hand off. Don't you think I don't know it? Sometimes I forget that he's a war dog. That'll teach me. <laughs> Stern approves. I once heard a really old legend about how the hound warriors in the days of the old tribes would feed their Mabari the flesh of the vanquished. Well, that's what I heard anyway. It would sometimes be human flesh. Oh, like you can tell the difference. For all you know, maybe you've already been fed something. Someone. Oh. How could you be mean to my dog? Don't listen to Alistair. He's full of rubbish. Let's see. Um, If you hadn't, uh, you didn't know already, you probably was tasty. Uh, I'd never feed you another uh, human being. It's not cannibalism if he's eating. A putrid, half eaten hair is not something a woman wants to find in her unmentionables. Let's see. Um. Why doesn't he share stuff with? Uh, it's <laughs> wow. This one's kind of hard to. Uh... I think he thinks. No, I'll go with that. Dirty mongrel can have this back. There, and tell him not to do it again. Okay. Don't do it again. You're a war dog, not a nursemaid. Let's see. You heard the lady. I don't want it, you worthless fur bag. I think you hurt its feelings. Oh, he's just trying to be manipulative, I can tell. I do it too. Back away slowly. Trying to find your way through the earth, are we? It's going to take some time, you know. Well, good luck with that then. play with the dog a bit. Alright, so yeah. 
I think that's everything we can do here in camp. So yeah, I might make this a uh, short little episode. In the next, we're going to see about going to that uh, Warden. We're going to do that DLC, the Warden's Keep. So if you liked, make sure to uh, leave a uh, thumbs up. If you're not, go ahead and become a subscriber. And uh, I will see you guys for Pokemon Gale of Darkness tomorrow.